There's really no question that Helldivers 2, or any sci-fi world for that matter, has elements inspired by Star Wars. And when I play Helldivers 2, I can't help but wonder what this game would look like if it was a Star Wars game. Can you just imagine jumping between star systems across the galaxy during the Clone Wars? Your ship, a Vanilla class Star Destroyer. Flying down to the planet in an LAAT. Getting out with your squad of clone brothers. Go now. Making your way to the objective. Fighting off wave after wave of invading separatist battle droids, supers, tanks. I mean, they even put ATSTs in the game. Hey everyone, it's Andrew. <laughs> there is so much more crossover here than I think a lot of people realize. Now, let me explain. One of the reasons Helldivers 2 is so successful because of the level of immersion they've created here. Everything in this game, and I mean everything, takes place within the world of Helldivers. Everything is in universe, whether that's the loading screens, the loading text before you jump to lightspeed and travel to another planet, as the game secretly connects you to other players. The tutorial, which explains the world of Helldivers and your place in this world as a clone trooper, I, I mean a Helldiver. Just like the the stakes of the galaxy, of Earth, the community effort to liberate planets with seasonal changes. Your inventory, your gear, your appearance, your cosmetics. There's even been live events where you'll learn over the PA system that the Separatists, sorry, sorry, the Automatons, have started a new invasion, and they'll be right there in the game. I honestly think Helldivers 2 has changed the gaming landscape. From this point on, this is the kind of experience we can expect, especially for, what, a $60 price tag in a Australia, $40 US. For me, and I think a lot of you guys would probably agree with this if you sat down and thought about it, the three pillars of a great video game are immersion, escapism, and fun. And Helldivers achieves all three of these things. The game is immersive because of how it builds the world, how it makes you feel like you're fighting together with other players against the invading forces. And in doing so, you experience a sense of escapism, like you're actually in that world, fighting that war. And the fun part comes through the game design and the mechanics. There's enough variety in enemies, in mission types, and planets, and weapons, and gear, and everything else to keep the game interesting. And this is also aided by just how visually stunning it can be. I don't think I've ever seen so many explosions on screen at once in a video game, and so many random bits and pieces of everything flying all over the place. It's crazy. Chaos. How's the game engine running this? online and it's also semi-casual you can kind of just jump in for a quick game basically any time and still feel like you've had some fun and that sense of escapism and immersion i was talking about it's all there i'll be honest i've barely played only a few hours in and i was hooked after the first mission because of all these things imagine this but star wars imagine the stratagems being able to call in an orbital strike ATTs. AT-RTs, bark speeders, mounted sentries, cannons, auto turrets, squad shields. Imagine being able to call in all this stuff and all of this already exists in Battlefront 2. Just give it the Helldivers context and suddenly we have a new game on our hands. Imagine the long list of Star Wars weaponry that could be added to the game with a season pass as well. Imagine the planets and the maps. Battlefront 2 already has something like 50 maps, which is already absurd, but why not just add simpler versions of those? I mean, this already basically looks like Geonosis. It doesn't have to be the Tripper Hive or the Geonosis Arena. This basically already looks like Hoth. It doesn't have to be Echo Base or Delta Base or any iconic location. It just has to feel kind of like Star Wars, which this already does. Now we just need to apply Star Wars to this. <laughs> Look familiar? The closest thing we have to Helldivers 2 in Star Wars is Battlefront 2's co-op mode. Just like Helldivers 2, it's four-player PvE, facing off against waves of enemies either trying to acquire or defend command posts or zones. 
and it's arguably one of Battlefront 2's better game modes. And when you're actually in the game with a squad of four other, let's say, clones, I think it is actually quite immersive, especially in the Clone Wars themed maps. You feel like you're living out these battles in the Clone Wars from either the side of the Republic or the Separatists. The amount of maps in the map rotation for this game mode is also impressive, and even though the experience is much more linear than Helldivers, you're kind of doing the same thing over and over again just on different maps with different looks, I think it is a decent template for what a Star Wars Helldivers style game could look like. If they built on this by adding more objectives, more things to do, more customization and weapons, and then also got rid of the traditional menus and gave you a hub location like a capital ship, I think we'd actually be a lot closer to a Helldivers style Star Wars game than you might think. But then there is of course another bigger problem with doing this for Star Wars. Approvals. This is outrageous. A Lucasfilm willing to approve a season pass style game with a lot more content and live events than possibly any other Star Wars game has ever had. When I spoke to Dennis Branville a few years ago, who was previously the lead developer on Star Wars Battlefront 2, he said that the hardest part of his job was approvals. In one word, what's the hardest part of adding new content to the game, like heroes, reinforcements, maps, that kind of thing? Approvals. Lucasfilm notoriously have a bit of a history working quite closely with anyone outside the company who's making a Star Wars product, whether that be a game developer or something else, because they need to protect the world of Star Wars, decide what is canon, what doesn't fit into their greater plans. The world of Star Wars is so big, it's massive, there's so much lore, so much history, and I guess they need to be careful about treading on their own feet and contradictions somehow Palpatine returned. Then of course there is also the risk side of things. Would Lucasfilm and Disney be willing to start development on a game like Helldivers knowing that in a few years the trend of these styles of games might be over? In three or four years by the time Lucasfilm has negotiated with the game developer to make this, they've had pitches, they've done an initial concept and they've gotten the game to a point where maybe it's playable, will anyone even be playing Helldivers anymore? How dare you! No one might be playing the game at all and this entire trend might have passed, so Lucasfilm have obviously spent four years wasting their money and time. I feel like people would still jump on a Clone Wars themed PvE game without any second thoughts, without even thinking, just fly off the shelves. This would be the Star Wars game we've all dreamed of, especially if it achieves that crazy level of immersion in the world of Star Wars that Helldivers has achieved in their world. Let's be honest though, we just need a new Star Wars game with a live service. I'm so excited about the future of Star Wars gaming and it seems like there is a lot cooking behind the scenes and a lot is on the horizon, but it just still all feels ages away. I'm still looking for that new online Star Wars game that's going to scratch that Battlefront shooter style Star Wars itch that I have, the competitive side, the casual side. Overall though, I just think there's so much crossover between these two worlds. Star Wars could fit perfectly into this style of game, and now it's just up to Lucasfilm and Disney to make something like this happen. I mean, look at the impact Helldivers 2 has had. I'm doing my part. Look at the impact Jedi Fallen Order had. People have a huge interest in great Star Wars games. And it just feels like with Star Wars, as always, there's so much opportunity. There's so much opportunity to explore this kind of potential game, to explore these exciting styles of games, to get a creative team working on this, to actually deliver a long lasting, memorable Star Wars experience. It's easier to say than it is to do, but I just think there's so much potential here. But all that said, I did want to ask you guys, what would you want to see? in a Helldivers 2 style Star Wars game. What do you think they could do here? What would you want to see in the game? Let me know in the comments. Do you think this style of game could even work? Also, you've probably heard about the cancelled Battlefront 3. Well, recently I got to play it. So if you want to see that and see footage from the game, and what Battlefront 3 could have been, then watch this video here. Also, please come follow me on Instagram, Twitter, join my Discord and TikTok. And thanks for watching this. My name's Andrew. I'll catch you soon.